down here on the bottom and it's by using the white arrow and deleting the parts that overlap to practice that technique what I want you guys to do is just to use shapes make a star solid color no stroke make a circle a separate color no stroke select both the star and the circle and now hit your divide key excuse me your divide pathfinder button and now you can use your white arrow tool to click and delete the center of the overlapping portion and you can come up with some really really cool effects like that because all you're doing is subtracting overlapping parts it divides everything up to an individual part and if you did it correctly you should be able to click on each of those separate parts and fill them in with each a separate color if you wanted to So the white arrow tool will let you select individual portions, individual parts. And it's the white arrow tool that's the key. It's not the black arrow. If you try to delete stuff using the black arrow, you're going to delete the whole thing. You want just the white arrow tool. Now I'm going to move on to the second part of the demonstration, but you're more than welcome to you're more than welcome to come back to this when I'm finished. All right. So let's make a new document. Control N, uh, and let's call this one Text Swirl. One of the things that the packet asked you to do was to make a text swirl. And I think you guys got it, right? Use the spiral tool to make a spiral. And then what tool do you use to type on the spiral? But which one though? Because there's like four of them and five of them. What's it called? Type on a path tool. There you go. Because this spiral is just a path. Okay? So you want to click on the type on a path tool and then click here towards the end of the spiral. If you click here in the middle of the spiral, you're not going to type very much. Click outer, click on the outer end like out here. And now when you type, It's going to follow along that spiral. Now, when you type along this spiral, uh, especially in the packet that you guys are working on now, and you try to use the... Um, uh, the technique, the divide technique, it doesn't divide your text, right? So let's take a uh, rectangle. Let's take a rectangle that has no uh, stroke and put it on the side of that text and try to do the same technique. Try to select the text, the rectangle, use your pathfinder divide. and try to chop off that text. It doesn't work, does it? Now 
Do control A on your keyboard, select everything, hit delete. And this time I want you to just type your name. And when you type your name, make your text large like mine is here on the board. And we learned last week when we talked about text that whenever you see your text underline, it has that blue path line, that blue underline called the baseline that all your text rests upon. Whenever you see that blue line, what does that tell you? Excuse me? You can edit it. It's still called editable text, right? So if you misspelled your name, You can hit your back key, you can type over just like you do regular text. Okay. Um, now, for what we're doing, uh, some of you are typing in text boxes. Uh, you, you, you made a text box like this, don't do it that way. Just click on the type tool and click in your document and type your name that way. And I still pe see people... Um, back working on the uh, worksheet. If you guys follow along with me on this, everything else will be a lot easier. I guarantee. So that underline tells us that this is editable text, right? But we also learned that everything in Illustrator is made up of what three objects? Line shapes and curves. And so even your text is line shapes and curves. The way that we get our text to be shapes, shapes and curves and lines, is by creating outline of creating outlines of our text. To create an outline of your text, you need to right click on it, right click on that text box, and go to create outlines. And what do you notice about your text now? Say it again. It's dotted. What are those dots? Those are anchor points. You're getting an A in this class. Those are anchor points. Those anchor points just show you where your angles start and stop. So even text then is made up of different shapes. Now when you, um, uh, when you uh, create outlines of your text, by default, Illustrator groups this all together. So you can still move it around, but what we're going to do is ungroup it. So create, or excuse me, where you went to right click to create outlines, right click and now ungroup. When you ungroup it, now you can move each letter individually. Illustrator sees this as a separate shape. It doesn't see this as letters anymore. Because it doesn't see it as letters anymore, you can also recolor each one separately. So what I want you guys to do now is to put a different color in each letter of your name. Let them let me know you know what you're doing. Don't use gradients, please. Just use a different letter, or excuse me, just put a different color in each letter. If you mess up, control Z. Back, 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 back. When you do this, what can't you do now? What's the problem? Move it all together. Uh, okay, it's, it's, it's not going to be aligned perfectly. What else is the problem, though? What if I got a misspelling? You can't change it. You can't check spelling in Illustrator because Illustrator doesn't see this as text anymore. It sees it as just shapes. 
okay? But that's good because we can now use this though with the Pathfinder. So once you put all your colors in each letter then, go ahead and regroup everything. Select all your text. What's the key command to group? Control nope. Control G. Control G. Tish, turn your monitor off, please. Now, once you've grouped everything, once you've grouped everything, you can put another box right on top. And just like we used our Pathfinder before, you can select both of those. And now you can chop them up, you can divide it up, just like we did before. Use your white arrow tool, hit your delete key. Again, if you mess up, control Z a couple times. Once you got it the way you want, select everything, control G. And now you're good to go. So what does that got to do with the spiral? The exact same thing. Only this time when you type your, uh, on the spiral, this time when you type on the spiral, what you're going to want to do then is you're going to want to create outlines of your text. So go ahead and type on your spiral. Right click, create outlines. And now when you chop off those hills that are on the side of your, uh, on the side of your scenery project, the text will be chopped off with it. You won't have to move your text over into the center of the page like you guys were doing before. You'll be able to chop off this text around it as well. Okay. All right, go ahead and try that. Work with your neighbor. Um, uh, uh, one of the things that I've been noticing is when you guys are doing your packet, Make sure that yours looks exactly like the paper. I know it's in black and white. You can put in your own colors, make it look realistic, but I'm going to be grading it based off the final, okay? Based off the final version in the packet, all right? That's how you're going to be graded, including the black frame that's on there. Also, type your name on the black frame uh, and then save it. We're going to print all of these at the same time when we're done with all three worksheets. And that is all from me.